Good evening friends. Today I am going to discuss about Tata Group and its impact on Indian economy and policies. Well, Tata Group is one of the India's largest and most respected corporation, which played a vital role in shaping the Indian economy and influencing government policies since its foundation year 1868. So let us talk on impact of Tata Group. on the social economy and policies let us first discuss on industrialization and infrastructure development well tata steel which is founded in 1907 is one of the oldest organization of india has first major private steel plant which played a key role post independence era era where they have reduced india's dependency on imported steel this helped india to have infrastructure development and a strong defense section apart from this for phase 1 that is 1950s mr jawahar lal nehru who is our first prime minister has a policy of self reliance tata group played a significant role they have many industrial venture by that time apart from tata steel they have tata motors tata chemicals tata power and tata communications though tata communication came into existence at a later stage but tata has the vision by that time apart from that they have a strong vision in aviation example of aviation sector is air india which was tata initiative later on it is nationalized in 1953 but air india was vision of tata group which shaped the indian aviation industry way early that is post independence era apart from this i'd like to highlight something about employment generation economic growth and their contribution to the gdp of india well economic growth tata group is a significant and major contributor of indian economy they have a vast and spanning businesses like manufacturing sector service sector and retail sector they have around 4% of india's gdp so they are a major and key driver of economic growth of india tcs which is one of the largest it services in india and pioneer india in the global leader in it and software <coughs> services tcs is significantly contribute as far as foreign exchange reserves are concerned for the country they are a strong earner of foreign exchange regarding employment it has been said that around 1 million people are employed with tata group with a substantial part of it is in india they have both direct and indirect employment employment in sector like steel automobiles power chemical and retail and services tata steel tata motors and tcs these three are the major player or major job creators in india which have employment in both skilled semi skilled and unskilled sectors now let us talk about globalization of indian business well we talk about foreign reserves tata group has a significant global acquisition which change india on a landscape of entire world they have acquired corpus steel in 2007 which is by <laughs> tata steel it is one of the largest overseas acquisition by an indian organization second one was jaguar and land rover <coughs> from the ford 
Tata Motor acquired it in 2008. After this, India's presence in global automobile sector is huge. Also in 2000, Tata acquired T, that is Tetley T, by Tata Global Beverage, making this tea company as largest tea companies in the world. So through these global ventures, India got good foreign exchange earnings and Tata Group significant contributed in this trade relation and global influence. Apart from this, I would say from a Tata part that they have an impact on strategic sector. By strategic sector, it means automobiles, which I just discussed about Jaguar and Land Rover acquisition. Apart from this, in 2008, Tata Group has launched Tata Nano, which is world's cheapest car, which have a major step in making automobile, which is affordable for middle class people in India. Apart from this, aviation. I have discussed about Air India, though uh, Air India was a private uh, government entity. It is acquired by Tata Group in last three, four years. Apart from this, they have a joint venture with Singapore Airlines named as Tata Vistara, which is a continued influence on the strategic aviation sector. Tata acquired Air India in 2021. That is also one of the key impact on aviation sector. Apart from this, Tata has an influence in government policy, specifically in environment and substantial development. Tata Power. They are a key player, one of the first private power sector company in India, has a key role as far as environment sustainability and policy related to this are concerned, Tata Group is having a significant impact on government policies as far as renewable energies is there. Tata's emphasis, we all know, they are corporate environment responsibility firm, which is sustainable practice across all the industries which have influence on national regulation regarding emission and environmental sustainability. So they are basically focusing on this aspect as well. Now briefly talk about post liberalization phase that is 1991 and economic growth. In 1991 telecommunication is one of the key sector where India see its growth. Tata Communication was a key player by that time along with the IT sector like TCS. This expansion aligned with government policies which have a huge impact on private sector participation, FDI and deregulation. So with this I would like to conclude that Tata Group has not only contributed to the growth of Indian economy, but also played a pioneer role and critical role in shaping Indian industrialization, its policies, corporate governance practices and social development. Thank you.